Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here and welcome to another LEGO unboxing video. Today we have the most specialistest, most important LEGO unboxing I've ever done. It's the LEGO Grand Piano, LEGO idea number 31, if it'll focus. It's not going to focus because we're looking at the music. There we go. And the number is 21323, 18 plus 3,662 pieces from the ideas catalog. And if you don't know why this is going to be so important to me, um, I used to be a professional pianist. I used to make a living playing piano every single day. And um, I'll never own a grand piano myself, except this one. This is as close as I'll get to a grand piano. But that's okay, because my Charles Walter studio in the background is better than most grand pianos anyway. But that's a different conversation. Today we're talking about the Lego grand piano. Um, when this was purchased, it was the last one you could get anywhere <laughs> um, for now. I don't know if it's a limited thing, so I don't know if you can get this anymore. I don't know if they're going to make more. I don't know how it is. I just know that um, when this was purchased for me as a Christmas present, it was the last one you could get your hands on. That may have changed. I don't know. But it's kind of interesting to know that. So this thing is absolutely enormous and it does play. There will be a demonstration video once I get it put together. Basically, it's like a player piano. You put your phone on the music stand and as the phone plays music, the keys move up and down with it. I am not sure if it's the other way around though. Like if I play the piano, does the phone make sound? We'll find that out in a future video. I'm not exactly sure how that works because the demonstration videos I watch were more like advertisements, not practical um, informational videos. So this is crazy. This thing is so big. That is a regular piano bench. It's the European style, all the rage piano bench in front of my real piano. But this thing is enormous. So I took out a tape measure here so we can tape measure it. Oh, by the way, yes, you do hear my laundry in the background. I'm downstairs in my studio. Because my kids are making noise playing Minecraft. This thing is 23 inches by 15 inches by, what's this, four and a half, five and a half, whoops, six and a half inches in the box. The final product though, where is it? I can't focus, 13 and a half inches. That's a foot and a half and almost eight and a half, what's that, eight and a half inches. Man, this thing will not out of focus. And a foot wide. So we got foot, ounce a foot by foot. So that's pretty darn big. I'm hoping to put it on top of my piano with the Lego Porsche, which if you know how big the studio piano is, it's a third of the piano. So I'm assuming, I'm hoping the piano is gonna fit. And yes, my humidity is very low for a piano. I'm just testing my humidifier. So don't don't panic, all you piano people. That is okay. Alrighty. So this thing is absolutely enormous. What's the span of this thing? Two octaves, I think. From C to C is an octave, then another C. So two octaves. It really plays. There's an action that you can slide out. There's motors in there that take six AA batteries, not included. Where's the AAA? It says on the bottom. Went through all this. I think unboxing videos are hilarious when I do them. I only take them half seriously. If you haven't been able to tell, batteries not included. What's in that thing of a band or something? Six 1.5 volt, which are AAA batteries. Six AAA batteries. So, wow. All right, 18 plus. Um, I think that's because they don't want a nine year old to try to put this together and people complain on the Lego hotline that they can't figure it out because it's too complicated. So they just say 18 plus. I really have no idea. I have no idea. Um, me, nope, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I was going to make a Victor Borger reference, but I won't because I want everybody to go to view this video. So, um, okay, that's it. That's how huge this thing is. That's the final product size. Otherwise, I don't know anything about this other than the advertisement videos. Um, I do feel completely spoiled and opulent with this because... Um, I'm showing you all the sides of the box while talking about it. You can pause and read if you care. Um, I do feel completely spoiled because this thing is expensive. At the time of this, oh, don't drop it. At the time of this recording, I think it was $349 and change, which is ridiculous because normally I don't spend anything on myself unless it's life or death or for my career. So let's turn this up right. 
So, um, anything on the bottom, first of all, yeah, we look at that. So, this kind of money was spent on me. I'm not trying to feel guilty about it. I'm doing the best I can to not feel guilty. There you go, that action slides out, hammers go up and down. It all moves. Alrighty, I think I showed you every side of the box without talking about it. Let's get this thing open and see what we have inside. All right, so it was taped in four spots here, here, off camera, there, and there. No, I do not have a professional setup for unboxing videos. This isn't my main gig, but those of you who have watched the previous ones asked me to do more. So here I am doing more for you all while I work around a tripod. There we go. Okie dokie, let's lift this thing up now. Well, it's 15 pounds, by the way. 15 pounds and the suction of air is keeping it closed. There's a name for that. Ugh, there we go. When the air sucks it closed. All right. That's a big 17. Ooh, look at the inside of the box. All black. It's not velvet. No, it looks like velvet, but it's all black. All right. Big 17. Oh, gosh. Big 5. Big... Peace in the way they holy cow. A dose 16. Six, 16? Two 16s. Uh, 20. 12. That was a good year, 2012. 2021. Hopefully 2021 is a better year. 14. 15. 18. Another 21. 18. Maybe multiple people looking to start. 14. 13. 10. And say. Alright, look at that. And I'm going to tell you how I work with that later. What's in here? Hopefully it's not all assembled. That'd be silly. This must be this box. This huge box. I think this is the full size of the kit to be honest if i look at the keyboard on the bottom i think this is going to be the full size of the piano so i have enormous hands my hands are just shy of rock Mananos world record i can almost i'm almost that's how big my hands are so showing you this box with my hands does no good so let's take the tape measure back out what do we got we have 14 inches by 11 by six and a half so the piano is a little bigger than this i think anyway this is pretty darn close what is it though? Oh, it's taped. Oh my gosh, it's taped. Let me get my scissors out and untape this thing. Taped in four spots. One, two, three, four. Because unboxing videos, people like to know what it is. Like I guess that I kind of make fun of unboxing videos. Alright. What's this? Number four. What is in the box? Here we go. The Lego manual, which you can also get online. Usually you can um, put in that number, whatever was in front of the box. And the app, there's an app. That's the back box. Anyway, there's an app. You put in the kit number 21323, and then you can get the instructions on the app. This thing is so thick. It's wrapped in plastic too. So let's open it up and see. My How many pages are in this before we see what else is in the box? Flip into the back. There is a list of all parts. Holy cow, this thing is bigger. I'm gonna say bigger than Finale Man it was back in the day, but it's not. 559 pages of instruction plus some index type pages. 563 pages. How many steps do you ask? Well, here's the motor part, and here's how you do stuff. And this tells you all the things that move and how they play and how it works. And there's looks like there's Bluetooth. Me, I shouldn't say that. Yes, Bluetooth. Bluetooth symbol. Bluetooth piano. Bluetooth phone case. Maybe that's supposed to be the app. Somebody did a really weird job. In Photoshop doing that, that's okay. And this just tells you everything it does. I'm going through it quickly because we will have a demonstration video of this, obviously, once it's done. Um, I haven't decided yet, though, if the demonstration video will be on this channel or my piano channel. Link in the description below to my piano channel. 
I haven't decided yet. Um, this is fitting for this channel because it's where I do my Lego unboxings, but it's also fitting for my piano channel because it's my piano channel. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. I'm going to read this to you in a second. I just want to see how many. Holy cow. 840 steps. The last step, you flip it around and you put the little music on the stand. <laughs> Holy cow. So what does this say? Let's see if I can read this. Removable music stand, which can be folded up or completely removed. Removable keyboard, that's sliding out the action. Self-playing. Working fallboard to cover the keys. Working piano lid, which can be opened. 25 strings corresponding to their own key. Working piano wheels. Height, adjustable piano bench, a moving pedal damper. Moving damper pedal. Why are these just in English? These are in three languages. Let me just back this out so you can see. It's just the same thing. On the left, it's in English. The right is in three languages. Very interesting. So anyway, that is what I normally say about these booklets. Look at that. And of course, I'll do this in the booklet. I won't do it in on an app. Should I read about the first page before we keep unpacking the music box? Meet your masterpiece, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. Focus. I can't. I don't have enough hands to make it focus. We're proud to present you to this Lego masterpiece in craft and innovation. Carefully designed from nearly 3,000, that says 2,787, but the front of the box said like 2,667. Hmm, the editing department slipped a few things on this one, huh? The Lego Grand Piano is a feat of ingenuity. With this intricate instrument, you can build a crescendo of creativity. Oh boy. One brick and one note at a time. Because today, you are the maestro. You are center stage, and this is your time to play. So without further ado, please put your bricks together for your masterpiece. How many puns can that be? Bravo from your fan designer. From our fan designer, Donnie Chen, and all of us at the LEGO group. Oh, so the LEGO ideas, are those designed by fans? Is that what the idea catalog comes from? Interesting. Maybe. I don't know. More research required, as I say. Okay, that's where it says you can go to the app. Let's see, you scan in that QR code into the Lego app, which I'm going to do just because I'm going to add it to my library, but I'm going to use this book. All right, it's the future me here with my cat in my way. I just wanted to give more credit to this book because I was going through it, and we're having a hard time with the cat here, but I was going through it, and there's a whole other section to this that I missed. So um, we actually looked at that already, but if we go through the beginning... It talks about, I have some quote from Beethoven, and I can't see that with the glare. Longfellow, which I'm not going to read all these because these are things you would see on your own when you get it. So I don't want to um, infringe on any copyright by reading every single word. But there's a little bit in here about the designer, who he is, and some things about himself. You can pause to read if you want to, but again, I'm not going to read it all because of copyright. But, um,. There they are, some different languages. And then a whole interview with him that keeps going in the whole beginning of the, well, the whole first beginning. So, um, again, I'm not going to show you every word because of copyright, but then it talks about an actual Lego designer that helped the pianist who designed this as a fan, not as a Lego employee. So there's a whole section in there about that. And then where we talked about the steps and everything and then everything in the back which tells you what each section of the panel does which again we will go over when i do a complete demonstration of this and then if you want to play these notes i'll let you discover what that sounds like although most of you watching this are probably musicians you can hear that in your head but that just repeats every so often i'm not sure if it means anything yet because not every page but anyway i just wanted to give a little more credit to the book so Back to my past self and continue with the video. Okay, moving along. More stuff. Numero uno. Number six. I'm just going to dump this stuff down because this is getting long. This box also has a number. That has to do with the box. Whatever. Four again. Number eight. Number two again. Maybe I shouldn't put all these together. Whatever. I know how to do Lego without 
having numbered bags, even with this many pieces. I'm just going to rip them all open and put them in the line. And put them in my bins anyway. Ooh, the strings. Be careful with those. I don't want to bend those. Um, these are not in a box. Okay. Number two again, the motor with more strings. And number nine, dot. There's a nine and a nine dot. This must be the, the stand lid. I don't know if you can see that. And number one again. And more motor pieces with more strings and more soundboard, probably. So what I normally do is I will take all of these out the book. And I will take my plastic containers. Are they Sterilite? They're Sterilite. Trusted name and storage from Target. I got seven of them this time. I actually had to buy new ones because the ones I used for the Porsche and other big builds I ended up using for computer components when I downsized some stuff. So I got seven of these with lids. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff, not on camera, off camera. I'm going to take these things like this and sort them. Not based on the bag's number. Yes, my children are upstairs mad because um, they're not happy about dinner, but that's too bad, right? I'm going to take these bags of stuff and sort them in whatever way makes sense as I go along. I might change my mind. And then I'll start building. So my future self here yet again. And for this kit, it's organized much differently than those larger Technic kits were that we've done together in the past. So everything is numbered. I laid everything out. So instead of putting all the pieces organized in the bins, I'm just going to put the bags in the bins because when I look through the book, it'll say this, you know, big one, two, and three for the first 20 steps or whatever, and then four, five, and six, seven, and eight for the next couple steps, and then nine to 11, 12, 13 for the next 50 steps or whatever it is. So I'm actually going to do this completely differently. So instead of taking everything apart and sorting it, I'm just going to throw the bags in the bins and start building. I just wanted to mention that because that is not how I thought this would work. So I just wanted to update you and be more accurate. Back to the video. So normally we do the first couple steps together, but I have, what is that? Well, more than 19, there's like 21 numbered, 24 numbered bags plus extra bags. That's going to take me a couple hours to go through. And my kids are starving. So in this video, we're not going to do the first steps together like we normally do. It's going to take me too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start... Am I going to start with step one? I don't know. What we normally do in between videos... Is I will do a few. Um, oh, I have to give you a separate thing. I'll go with, through a few steps at a time, like you know, 20 steps, and then a couple days later, weeks later, we'll do the next 30 steps, and then I'll do a couple hundred on my own. Yes, a couple hundred on my own. Why are there music notes on the bottom? Da 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 da. That just, I mean, it makes sense, but it ends on the dominant. Okay. Da da da. Whatever. So. Um, let's see if that spells any something. C B F G D B E E G. No. Sorry, I'm distracted by what's going on upstairs. We'll do a few steps, like 10, 20 steps. And then I'll do a couple hundred on my own, and then I'll take a video of 20 more steps. I'll do a couple hundred on my own, and then we'll do a final video. We do a video where I put the last couple steps together with you. And then a demonstration. But this thing is so elaborate. Demonstration will have its own video. And like I said, that might actually be on my piano channel because I haven't decided. So if you want to see the building, various building, now someone's taking a shower. <laughs> this is not the best time to do this video, but I've been working for a week trying to get this video done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, I'm going to yell over the running water. The shower's right over my head. If you're interested in watching a few build videos, subscribe to this channel. If you're interested in a final demonstration video in a couple weeks from now, subscribe to this channel and my piano channel. I'm not doing it to plug my piano channel, but I am. Description below my piano channel. Click on it. Subscribe over there. And with that, I'm going to feed my starving children, and I'll see you next time.